conferencing and three-week lecture in one hour. Thank you very much, Bubi um, Boon, if you can follow you in Hong Kong and attend your lecture. At least we have uh, some substantial input on how we can fight corruption in the best way that we can in our respective discipline. Uh, before we put Mr. Hock in the hot seat, we would like to uh, say thank you through presentation of plaques and tokens uh, from the UE Graduate School. We would like to request the uh, company of our president, Dr. Esther Albano Garcia, and our chancellor, Dr. Linda Santiago, and our dean, uh, Dr. Avelina Galeria, in their presentation of plaques and tokens. Our new secretary of the Graduate School, Dr. Salvador Sibayan, will read the citation in the plaque.
thing that would be asked just to start off uh, because we have very good uh, inputs with our base and experiences. What you have to think uh, when you put on the question, the searching questions, is uh, how do we relate the experience of Hong Kong and Singapore to the Philippine setting which is many, many times in terms of population uh, bigger than these two countries. So, uh, there was a time in my life when I was thinking that uh, perhaps uh, if, uh, with the kind of good leaders that we could have, like the chair of the Commission of Higher Education before, if uh, we divide the country into different Singapores, we could uh, also be as Singapore and as Hong Kong in the different areas where we have approximate sizes. So, when I was thinking of that, I was not intimidated by the success of Singapore. But they are more emulated. So, the question that you should bear in mind is how to adapt these principles into a bigger setting like the Philippines, which is about 90 million people. So, uh, I understand that Mr. Tony Pope has another lecture to go and so I suggest to the audience to please write down your questions and we will choose five. Maybe we can have three from the audience orally and another two. Well, then, we'll right. Right. Yes. Right. We start with uh, Professor uh, identify yourself as you uh, take We the have phone. a microphone here. <laughs> Please identify yourself. Good afternoon, my name is Mark and I'm a member of the faculty. Uh, I just want to say, sir, sir Kwok, that uh, I think what is happening in Philippines right now is a combination of both uh, graph and corruption. Uh, of course, we all know that uh, corruption has to do with the act of offering a bribe and graph has to do with the act of accepting a bribe. To dramatize my point for the Filipinos who are here, just an example is what happened to Simpson and Estrada. Uh, Simpson, I think, is guilty of a corruption and Estrada, I think, is guilty of graph. In the end, we incriminated the person who is guilty of graph. Uh, my question, sir, is this. Who do you think should we run after here in the Philippines? Is it the person who is guilty of corruption? Or is it the person who is guilty of graft? 